one and two pipe heating systems. At the end of this session, you should all be able to describe one and two pipe heating systems, noting the key differences. Identify the pros and cons of each system type. And, and that's it really, it's a very brief overview of these two different system types. You can see a one pipe system has one pipe which acts as both the flow and the return. And we're going to look at, explore what that means now. And a two pipe system would have a separate flow and return, which has got a lot of positives to it. One pipe system. Essentially, it has one pipe which acts as both the flow and the return. So you can see here, one pipe which comes out from the boiler, is pumped around the, the main circuit and returns to the boiler. The key way to identify this, if you can see that a pipe comes out of, uh, of the main pipe, goes into the boiler, and then the pipe on the other side of the radiator returns into the same pipe, that means that that's going to be a one pipe system. And there's a big drawback to that. The, the heat up times of the radiators are a little bit slower because the heat actually travels up into the radiators by convection. The, the hotter water rises up in through the flow, goes into the radiator and the cooler water will fall back into this pipe here which is, is acting as, as the return and also the flow to the next radiator. So the temperature of the water is going to drop as you go around the circuit. You're going to have hotter water going in here and then cooler water dropping out here, which means that the actual flow temperature to this radiator isn't going to be as hot as the flow temperature to this radiator, which means that you need to start oversizing the radiators as you go around the circuit to still get the same amount of heat output. If you want to get the same heat output in the last radiator as the first radiator, you'd have to make that radiator much larger because the actual temperature of the water going into it is going to be much cooler. So pros and cons. Um, pros and cons of, of a single pipe system is, is only one pipe which acts as both the flow and return so it's cheaper and maybe a bit quicker to install. Disadvantage is our each radiator cools down as it goes around the circuit. Only the main ring is pumped so it heats up a little bit slower and it's not compliant with part L so therefore we shouldn't fit it anymore but we might still come across it. Briefly look at one pipe semi-gravity. Um, one pipe systems are normally found in older properties. You might find them in conjunction with a semi-gravity system um, or, or with a back boiler. Um, semi-gravity systems, we've, we're going to look at in a little bit more detail uh, uh, very, very soon, actually, in the next part of the session. And um, yeah, I mean, long story short, you have the heating side will be pumped and the hot water side will circulate by convection. Now you can get semi-gravity systems for two pipe systems as well. It's not exclusive to one pipe systems, just worth being aware of. Uh, pros and cons, I mean, on the heating side, it's got one pipe which acts as, as the flow and return. So again, it's cheap and quick to install, just pre like previously with the uh, one pipe system we just looked at just there. Uh, again, disadvantages are the same uh, with a couple of extras. Okay, the heat up time for the hot water will be very slow because it's traveling through the pipes by convection. It's not pumped which means that it's also going to be very inefficient as well. And not compliant with part L. So again, we shouldn't fit these from, from new, we shouldn't fit semi-gravity systems from new. Fully pumped two pipe systems. These are what we want to be installing really. Um, and got separate flow and return. And um, because there's a separate flow and return, the water is forced through the radiators, which means that the heat up times are much, much quicker. Um, you would need to make sure that you balance the radiators. Uh, that means that you essentially restrict the flow a little bit to the closer radiators, which means that all of the all of the radiators heat up equally at, at the same time. 
going to talk about balancing in a, in a bit more detail next week when we, when we look at radiator valves. So the pros and cons of heat emitters will be the same temperature, uh, which is different than, than obviously with the one pipe system. They're much more quick to heat up, uh, they're compliant with building regs, uh, part L1A and L L1B. Um, and it will also give you potentially full control of heating in hot water. Uh, the only disadvantage I could think of really is, is if the system isn't properly balanced, the water can kind of short circuit, can go to the closest, closest radiators first um, and travel through through them if the system isn't properly balanced. But other than that, it's all good. Okay, now it is time for your task. <laughs> 